What is going on all you Randy tryhards? Got another commentary for you guys. This time I'm playing Sniper on Steel Peel. And the essence of this gameplay is to not get discouraged and not start, you know, breaking down or forgetting how to play if you start having a bad game. Just keep playing, grind it out, and eventually things will pick up and you'll do way better. So in this game I start off kind of slow. And then towards the end I like just catch fire and I go on like an 11 kill streak. And push the ball down and win the game for my team. So that is what happens. Let me just up the quality on this video so you guys can see it a little bit better. Let's go back to here. Alright, so off the start of the game, what I'm doing is I'm basically trying to uh, make a pick off the start here. Or at least get someone weak enough for them to get picked by my assaulter gunner. So that way we can make a push into the middle, make a play, and win the game, hopefully. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm just getting good angles on their key players and trying to get one of them weak enough to be killed. And like right there, I got their assassin one shot. And I'm just sort of, you know, going to let my assault clean that up. But he was not looking for it, unfortunately. So we do clean up the support right there. I get the assist, as you can see. I had him weak before. So there we go. We get that opening pick. And uh, we were in a decent position to make a push, but then two of us got, or three of us actually got picked. And I do counter back with the pick on him. But as you can see, they're all like pretty weak. So we should be trying to get one of these picks. I get their assault absolutely black bar one shot. And Jump Johnson, my assault, is chasing after him. But he forgets how to shoot bullets. And I think the assault actually gets away. Poor Jump Johnson. So, <laughs> like I talked about in my other videos when I play Sniper, I try to um, keep an eye on like the weaker side of the map and help my teammates out. So right here, we're being pushed on the left really hard, so I'm going to rotate left and help them out. And then... Right after I clear the assault away from the left, I push to the right because the bots are close. And I'm going to patch the right lane up. So you always want to be aware of which lane needs the most help. And be right on that, helping them out. So I get the... Uh, and the reason I SMG'd that bot for so long was because you can get juice off that pretty easily. So if you're in your base and there's a bot and there's no danger for jumping on the ball, you can just sort of SMG it or melee it if you want, whatever. And try to uh, get juice. So right there, I'm just sort of... Doing the same thing, trying to make a pick so we can get some breathing room pushed back into the middle. Right now we're pushed into our base, so what I have to do is get someone weak enough for my assault or gunner to charge on them and clean up that kill and we can make a push into the middle. And I'm also playing for my juice because I can get it fairly easily. So if I get that, that'll be a free middle push for us as well. So um, I'm just sort of doing my thing right here. Staying alive. Trying to get my juice, trying to get my... um give my team a chance to push up. So right there we get a pick on Frank, who I believe is their gunner this game. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Maybe their tank. But then uh, Zashmo does end up getting picked. So we're not in a great position to push up. But then we get the assassin down. We're up a man. So right here we decide to make our move. We get their gunner out of the middle. And uh, we're, we're making our... We're establishing our presence in the middle of the map. But then my gunner who is, I think, Purple Scratchy was retarded right there. Let me rewind that so you guys can see what he did wrong there. So, uh, we're pushing in the middle. Right here, I think, is when I picked our assassin. Yeah, I picked our assassin. We're up a man. And what happens is my gunner goes up top. So he's in a great position. He can hold the middle. He gets up on the middle ring. His support is going over there to help him out. And then, like, he, um, he gets bombed down, it looks like. And then, instead of, uh, like, trying to move towards the support or whatever, he was just kind of like chilling there in the middle of nowhere, being silly, which you don't want to be silly. So, the Annie's coming up soon at this point, so what I'm going to do is just hold down the middle of the map, keep it locked down, and uh, give my team a good chance to hit it. So I back their tank off right there. I'm trying to back off the support and gunner, and unfortunately that airstrike somehow gets me. I thought I was out of the range of it, but whatever. You know, no big deal. We still get the Annihilator. I distracted them long enough for us to get on it, so I'm going to buy my explosive rounds, and now I can start really getting into that, that groove of juicing a lot over and over. So, um, same thing right now. We don't have map control quite yet, so I'm just trying to make a pick. I'm getting shot through the wall by their sniper. I think that's Jeremy Dahl's sniper. And Jeremy Dahl's not fun to play against because he's one of the laggiest players in the game. So he'll shoot you through walls, and he can't be grappled and all that fun stuff. But uh, we clean him up, we get the support, and we get rid of... Their gunner, and then we get their tank, so we have four dead. And now we're in a great position to make a push. I'm just going to push the bots up so we have more pressure on their base in addition to their uh, their slayers being down. 
And I'm paying attention to this assault to my right, because I know he's eyeballing me. He wants to, like, run up and charge me. We do get a bot on their ball right there, actually. We actually managed to sneak one on, which was cool. And I'm going to keep checking to my right. I didn't see him to my right there. I can see it on my, per my peripherals from this, uh, this spot where I am right now, so I'm not in danger of being flanked, really. And I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and try to get the bots in so we can get their ball down. And um, right around this point is when I start to really heat up and I get in my groove. I haven't, like... I've been doing a decent job until this point, which even though it's a bad game for me, it's still like a pretty good game for most players, unfortunately for the MNC community. But like I'm still, I'm because what I'm doing is I'm not getting discouraged. I'm not trying to go out of my element, even though I'm not like hitting as many shots or being as explosive as I usually am. I'm still just playing this, the class consistently, doing what I'm supposed to do. And so even if my shot is like really bad, and I'm not hitting anything. I'm still helping my team, and I'm still doing what I have to do. So I'm not getting shut down. I'm not getting taken out of the game. And I'm still getting, like, I'm getting a ton of assists, as you're seeing. I'm getting damage on everybody. So they're all weak, and it's making it a lot easier for my team. And I'm also drawing fire, getting shot through walls again, as you just saw. And, uh, I just, I don't know what Jeremy Dahl was thinking, and I wasn't very smart. But that's, I guess, why he's not a great player. And, um, so right here, we're pushing up. We're trying to take over the middle. We have map control, so at this point, what I want to do, once again, as a sniper, is shoot bots try and keep the other team in their base, keep the bots dead, and get my juice so I can juice on them over and over again. I'm going to use my SMG to clear up some kills. I go for the taunt, but I wasn't fully in cover, unfortunately, so I got sniped while I was taunting. And uh, as you can see, so my style right now is 4, 10, and 4. Pay attention to that, because right here is where I go on that huge kill streak. I got like 11 kills in a row or something, because I end up I finish 18 and 5. So um, I'm just going to start by... Helping the right lane. The right lane bots are closer than the left lane bots. So I'm going to shoot them. Then I'm going to keep the left lane bots back. And just patch up both sides. Just keep looking back and forth. I see them pushing up on the left. So I'm going to clean those guys up on the left side. Push them back. And I'm just going to keep their team, you know, pushed back. Get them out of here. Keep putting shots on everybody. I got a support one shot. I'm being chased by the assault, though. So my assault is there. I'm near my team, so it's not really a threat. And I'm going to keep him backed up. And, uh... I'm just sort of doing the same thing, you know, keeping the bots back, keeping their players dead, throwing ice traps down to catch their, uh, I'm using my ice traps mostly to catch their assassin right now since we have map control. So, um, I'm using my ice traps more defensively against our assassin because he's the only one that can, like, sneak through and push through. And we're not having any trouble killing their slayers, so there's no reason to, like, spam too many ice traps their way when we're already destroying them as it is. So right there I get charged into their base, and since most of them were dead, they couldn't clean me up. I end up getting my juice, and I'm sort of looking around for anyone to push up on this landing. There's support juices on the landing, so I'm going to use my juice to back him up. He's not effective. I kill their sniper. They're, uh, I keep their assault backed up, and we have like a pretty good hold on the map right now as it is. Their gunner's out of the game, their support is backed up, and we're, we have all of our players alive. And then right there we kill their tank and their assassin. And now I'm just going to keep hammering damage on these guys right here. Keep them weak. I'm starting to get chased by the assault, but my team is all around me, so he stands no chance. Not sure what he was thinking. I go for the melee. Don't get it. He falls off the map. <laughs> so um, I'm going to get this juice right here. What you want to do is just like juice nonstop as a sniper. It's just going to keep your, your team so much in the game. It's going to keep the other team like just getting angry and not staying focused, and it's going to take them out of their element quite a bit. So that's what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm just chilling on their landing, using my SMG against this assault, because that's a good way to get easy damage on him. I get their gunner dead, get the support dead, and then um, I'm just sort of, you know, standing there and keeping them back in their base, because I know they were looking like they wanted to push, and I was just right there, I was stalling for my gunner to push up on the landing, which worked, and now I'm pushing bots in on this right side, but we get rid of that turret. So right here, I just sort of, like, I wouldn't advise to do this ever, but I was just feeling really ballsy because we were, like, destroying them. So I was like, I'm just going to run through their base like an assault. And it paid off. <laughs> I got, like, half a juice meter. I got somebody weak. And um, as you can see, this is going pretty well now. I'm starting to hit my stride. I'm starting to start hitting hitting my shots, getting my juice a lot. And uh, we're in a good position to try and get that ball down. So I take out their assassin here, 
we have like I think the tank and the um the tank and the sniper off, so I'm back in the sniper off. I see the tank right there, I'm gonna juice and take out these slayers that are immediately threatening me. Take them both out, I take out the sniper, take out or I'm gonna take out the assassin in a second. So that was four kills right there. We just I just killed four of them by myself. Just waiting for my team to push in. I get a flak on their other turret, and their ball ends up going down from that push there. Since so we had so many of them dead. So that's all it takes, really. You just gotta stay focused, stay composed, and then once you're put in the right situation, you're gonna have a good uh, good chance to make something happen, even if you're not having a good game off the start. Stay persistent, stay with it. Don't get your head out of the game. Keep playing the game the way you're supposed to, and you'll do fine. So right there, uh, we hit the Annie. This game is pretty much wrapped up. I'm shooting some bodies because I'm hyped. Getting hyped. And this game, you know, it's in the bag. All we gotta do is kill their ball. I hit that shot somehow, like, right as he's about to get around the wall. So I taunt it, because I'm the fucking best. And at this point, all I have to do is just keep doing my sniper duties, which are keeping them out of the middle, shooting bots, and getting more juice, and trying to get more juice to kill the money ball. And they have a fire base on our annihilator, which isn't fun. And look at that SMG prowess right there. My SMG's gotten a good amount better the more I've played Sniper, which is very uh, useful against Assault Supports or Assassins or like anyone who tries to challenge me close range. I can just sort of play around the wall, not really expose myself, and pick them with the SMG, which is really a useful skill. You don't want to like straight up fight anybody with the SMG, but you can definitely get some good damage on them while dancing around and trying to get away and waiting for your team to come help you, which is what you want to do. So uh, I'm close to my juice, playing for it. At this point, all I have to do is just, it's really easy. I just stay back, shoot bots, and keep them out of the middle. And then once I get my juice, I'm going to go ahead and juice on the bull in the game. So I'm three quarters of the way there. I'm going to keep their assassin pushed back, make sure that he's not pushing bots into my base. I'm like one juice box away from juice. I get it right there. And instead of going for their ball, since that was Frank and Jeff, I have to juice on them. It's just mandatory. And then I'm just padding my stats here because it's a private match. And there's no reason not to. <laughs> if it was like a serious match, I would juice on the ball. Look at that reaction time. Look at that grapple there. Right out of that lunge. Nasty. Nasty reflexes. And that is how you want to play Sniper. Once again, to add on to my previous Sniper uh, gameplay. For all my sniper gameplays, my previous commentary. And um, that's. So yeah, I went on 11 kill streak right there. I just died at the very end. And I had like 25 assists. So that's what you want to do if you're not having a good game off the start. Just stay with it, grind it out, stay persistent, and eventually things will pick up. So I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. That's not all about what happens in the game, but mostly what happens in your head and how you keep yourself and your team in the game. And you guys stay consistent. Keep playing the game the way you're supposed to play. And eventually things will work out and you'll get the win. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. And as always, everybody, have a lovely day. Peace.